Hello people and welcome to a new series that I'm thinking about doing. Now, if you think this is going to be some urban explore, then you are going to be very, very mistakenly wrong. Now, as you can see, this bathroom, yeah, is a bit of a state. Amazon boxes everywhere and next time I make a video like this instead of having to put blanks on everything I'm going to use a permanent marker because obviously the owner of the place doesn't want everyone knowing that this is how she lives however this is a friend of mine she's asked not to be in the footage she's asked not to be docks so I'll try my best not to have her docks so then I start off by spraying the toilet in a minute just to soften that stuff up because, well, it's a bit of a grotty toilet. But on the other hand, how on earth do you use that toilet with all that stuff in front of it? Never mind, let's get cleaning, shall we? Now, as you can see, I am super fast at cleaning every anything. I move very quickly when it comes to cleaning. Now, on the floor, you've got washing, rubbish, Amazon boxes, basically what you can see and well the obvious rubbish gets bagged up and goes in the bin and um, anything that isn't rubbish gets thrown to one side. Now the washing, yeah okay it is a time lapse and it does look like I'm holding it for a second but the reason why that is is because well it's covered in like grit and stuff so I give it a quick shake so that don't end up in the washing machine then chuck it to one side for the owner to obviously wash so then the owner of this house has ended up getting very depressed and is very manically depressed and obviously after a while being depressed you just have no um what's the word to uh, call this i can't remember you just have no literally you just can't do anything you, i mean your house ends up like this and uh not only that she was carrying a bag of rubbish at the uh out her flat once and she fell down the stairs and ended up damaging her foot a bit as well so obviously the whole putting rubbish in the bin thing must have gone flying out the window or something or she just didn't want to do it anymore but either way it's become a bit of a state and this is a state that you're going to find rather hard to get out with because whilst doing this getting rid of the rubbish was a bit of a mission but more said about that in the series later on whilst clearing up this bathroom i was finding brand new bags of clothing just dumped in it all um little bits of food not a lot mainly um amazon packaging and just packaging some things that she had opened and just basically used her bathroom to store it all in. Now the reason why I'm wearing a mask is because I've actually done this for this person quite a few times and the last times I've done it I didn't do it with a mask when I knew I should have been and it did generally make me ill for a couple of days so I wore a mask so I didn't have to put up with being a bit crummy for a couple of days but you know I've got to admit it is amazing to uh, watch everything disappear you can almost use that toilet again I don't know how she takes a bath with all that rubbish inside it Now, as you can tell with the smiley face sponge, the person who agreed to let me film this is also a fan of somebody else who uh, cleans up houses like this, which is uh, a bit ironic. But 
but that's how that's why it was so easy to get her to agree to let me time lapse myself doing this. And not only that, I also thought if she would see me tidying her flat up online, she might um, keep it tidy a little longer. However, she is seeking help, so yeah, if you do work out whose flat this is, please don't dox or something else. But anyway, that's it. Now, whilst I've been clearing out the bathroom, obviously the hallways that will be getting a bit cluttered, it's a bit impossible to get out of the uh, place. So, I'm going to have to do with the rubbish, but first of all, we're going to clean the toilet before it dries. And I thought I'd give you all a nice close-up of it getting clean. Lovely. Not so bad that I've been chucking stuff in it to soften it up and melt it away. Oh, how convenient. Look what I found in the mess. Some pots. Oh, that do. I know it's not spotless, but we'll come back to that later on. Now, I know I've already cleared the bathroom, but half the problem is the whole flat is a bit of a mess and the only clear spot I've got is the spot I've just cleared, so I've sat the rubbish there for a minute, so um, I can quickly get the rest of the junk out of the way, so I can uh, get the rubbish out of the flat. furniture around you normally find more rubbish behind the furniture that's just a wash basket get, get rid of it
now it's time for a mop. Now I know I'm mopping a dirty floor here, but the problem I've got is the floor's so dirty, even if I did hoover it, I'd end up ruining the hoover because the floor's wet anyway. So I just mop the stuff, swept it up as best I can, and I'm just literally gonna mop the floor dirty. Then what I would then do is wait for the floor to dry, then I'll hoover it up. It's amazing how fast I can sweep. So anyway, to the end of the video and um, I hope you all tune into the next one which will be the bedroom. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much people.